Hey everybody, so today after a long hiatus I got a unboxing. As you can see it's a Springfield Armory. It's a Springfield Armory 911 or the 911 however you want to call it. Um, just a simple unboxing, haven't shot it yet so I'll give my full review later. But I just wanted to get a 380, uh, something that's small that would fit in my pocket and also would be easy to handle as well because smaller guns have smaller grips and if you get into high calibers like 40 or 45 it will actually become kind of hard to handle. 9mm is pretty ideal uh, but this gun kind of caught my eye because it's kind of modeled after you know a mix between a 1911 and a Browning High Power which means that the trigger is a whole lot better than most of the 9mm offerings out there so you know that's why I decided to go with it and I decided to go with the black nitride finish which actually just came out more recently um, they kind of unveiled both of them both versions the, stain, the one with the stainless slide and the black nitride slide at the same time but I think the the stainless slide is the one that shipped first and that's the one that all the stores had uh, nobody really had the black all black one so uh, without further, further ado we can start uh, opening it outside very simple it's just a cardboard box I'll open the flap and inside is, I'm assuming the gun is in here. It has, it's actually like a little range, uh, like a notebook case, which is pretty nice. Uh, underneath that is the obligatory paperweight. Uh, it's, looks like a, the second magazine, this is the extended one that holds seven rounds. The flush fit one would be six. Uh, some a packet of, a sample packet of lubricant made by Lucas Oil, which is actually a very, very good company. Um, they, they make a lot of stuff for race cars and things like that. And of course, manual and all those other things. Put that aside. Put this aside. So, opening this up, you see it has a little space for, I guess, if you have like a range membership card or something like that, you put that in there. This is actually a pocket holster that comes with it and it's actually kind of integrated with the case and here it is the Springfield Armory 9 or 911 and like I said the flush fit magazine um, so obviously check that it's clear take the magazine out go ahead and lock the slide to the rear check that out chamber flag you have probably one of the best sites that you can can get on a pocket 380. These are night sights where the dots do glow and it does have a white ring around the rears which is actually an improvement over the Trigicon HDs which is probably the closest thing that looks like this. And, and then the front post has a uh, like a luminescent ring around the, the night sight as well so not only do, do you see it at nighttime but during the day that front sight would stand out because it's a different color than the rear sights. Like I said, it's kind of like the Chichigan HDs, but the Chichigan HDs actually don't have the white rings around the the the, the tritium inserts in the, in the rear, so this is actually kind of nicer. The total length on this, um, from what I read, is uh, five and a half inches. Um, the barrel itself is 2.7 inches long. Stain stainless steel barrel. This slide is a nitride finish, which is supposed to be a very very good corrosion resistant finish to have. The frame is made out of uh, aluminum so it's actually very very lightweight uh, and it's very high quality you know uh, uh, T6 aluminum the grips here are G10 grips they look kinda like the the grips that you can buy from VZ grips which they probably make these because VZ grips do uh, is an OEM for a lot of companies and this looks pretty much identical to, to I think it's um I'm not really sure. I think it's like the the alien or something like that. One really nice feature to come on uh, such a such a lower price gun is the front strap is textured, as well as the matching texture on the back strap. It's actually very very nice. And one thing I wanted to point out as to you know most people who criticize this saying that oh it's just a copy of the P238 by Sig, which actually the P238 is a copy of the Colt Mustang. So so basically they're all kind of the same class and some of the parts are actually interchangeable like this barrel you can actually take this and put it in a P238 and 
is supposedly it, it fits. I, I mean, I don't know about actually firing with it. The magazines I know for sure are interchangeable between them. Um, so yes, they are very similar. Um, but what for me makes you know this a better gun than than the P238 is this right here, the trigger guard. Um, my one complaint about the P238 is the one reason why I don't really like it. I mean, I, I do like it actually. For me, before this came out, the 238 was what I would consider the best, you know, 380, uh, best shooting pocket 380. Obviously, it's not the best because it does have a manual safety and you know you have to carry a cotton lock, which not a lot of people, you know, not everybody likes to do. So I'm not going to say that it's the best for everybody, but in terms of shooting, I think it would be hard to hard to argue that any other pocket 380 shoots as well as the P238. So the one complaint I did have about it was that the trigger guard opening was so small that if you try to follow all the safety rules, keep your finger out of the, the trigger, guard, trigger guard before you're, you're ready to fire, to put that finger in there, you kind of have to bring it all the way out to kind of like thread the needle almost. is kind of the way I, I like to describe it. This is much larger to where you know, I don't even have big hands, but even for me, the P38, 238, was a little bit of an effort to get my finger there from, from this position. This one, just slides right in. It's very, very nice. Then, of course, these sights are so much better than what comes in a standard P238. Uh, the P238 does have an option of, uh, of their own night sights that do have a fiber optic front, but that one extends all the way back to here you know it's actually not as good as these these are actually much better and plus this comes standard with this with this handgun which the retail price is a lot cheaper than uh, the 238 and it comes with all these other features the G10 grips uh, like I pointed out before also a very very nice addition I like G I really like the G10 grips actually I really wanted to get this color combination because this really matches the grip I have on uh, my Springfield operator. Uh, the undercutting right here is actually very nice. It allows you to grip it very nice and high. It does come standard with the ambidextrous safety, which is not a huge deal for me because I'm a right-handed shooter, but still nice to have standard that not all 238s or Mustangs have. Um, and this trigger has a cool texture to it. Uh, probably, pretty sure you probably can't really see it from that distance but it's made by G made made of G10 same material as the grip and the best thing about it is the feel if you dry fire or or fire this and a 238 and a Mustang I would say that this actually has the nicest trigger I mean the pull is the take up is very very small I'm not sure if you can see it is like that's basically all of the take up right there and then the brake, they advertise five pounds, which uh, I don't have. I don't have uh, you know one of the things to, to measure it, but it does feel very light and it's very crisp and it's very smooth. So you know I can't wait to bring this out to the range and shoot it. Uh, oh, I just noticed this too. Uh, another improved feature, in my opinion, is the tactile load the chamber indicator. A lot of them you have to look to see if it's loaded or some of them don't have it at all. This one just will pop up when it's loaded so that even when it's dark you just have to run your finger over here and you can tell that your chamber is loaded without needing to press check or anything like that. So you know that's basically that's basically uh, sums it up and you know obviously these things like coming with a little notebook case to bring it to the range and coming with the pocket holster you know very nice plus. And then of course the some people always some people would point out that one of the advantages of the 911 is the magazines are cheaper, but honestly that's not really an advantage of the 911 because you could buy this for the P238. So now this advantage carries over to all the other um, pocket 380s of this class. Um, so it's kind of an it's it, it's nice that this gun did come out and they started releasing magazines that cost half as much. This is like about, about $25 for this versus $50 for P238 around, you know, that's around. Obviously, sometimes you can find it cheaper or more. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it's kind of a nice perk of it, but it's not exclusive to this gun. So I wouldn't really call it an advantage of the 911. Uh, it's just something that 
came out that's kind of beneficial to the entire market really so but still it's kind of cool i bought myself a couple of these already before this gun arrived so you know i'm pretty ready to go i have a hopefully it likes the self-defense ammo which i'm going to um use on it i'm going to shoot like a box of uh the hornady critical defense which reading the lucky gunner uh, articles and looking at all the, all the data on, on the penetration and the average you know diameter of, of it expanded seems to be pretty much the best self-defense round that you can buy for this gun so yeah definitely gonna check the, uh, try out an entire box to see if I can go through an entire box without any any failures if it does then that's gonna be my carry ammo and it's gonna be one of my carry guns but yeah anyway so I'm gonna be making another video of me shooting it so Hope you hope you found this video informative. Yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I know I haven't really been putting out videos. Been pretty busy lately, but you know that hopefully that's gonna change pretty soon. We'll be putting out videos more, more frequently, and you know try to do more reviews and and uh, unboxings and and you know tips and tricks and things like that uh, in related to lots of different things, especially guns though. All right, well. Thank you for watching.